Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. We're back in Unreal Engine 5.5. A lot of people were asking me if Nanite Skeletal Mesh or skinning works with displacement. But basically, in this material, I just have a simple animated scene, sign, whatever you want to call it, time kind of animation pumping in in the displacement. So we can kind of have some movement in there. So it's a little bit easier to see uh, versus just, you know, having the displacement just kind of there. So I'll close this out. And just to make sure we have everything connected properly, make sure you have R dot allowed skin meshes to one. So that's going to allow nanite skeletal meshes. And then nanite allowed tessellation is going to enable displacement. Again, in the body, sorry, I forgot to show you. In here as well, you have to make sure that you have enable tessellation is turned on. Now next, what we're going to do is go to the console command and type in tessellation. And R dot nanite dot tessellation. I could have put this in the config as well, but went ahead and did that here and here we go i'll put it in full screen mode so you can kind of see what's going on so it's working and what i'll do is i'll actually press play here so because i do have some animation an idle animation on our space marine here this is a pretty darn cool effect now obviously the pulsating is kind of boring i kind of want it moving around now i'm kind of thinking about like a creature maybe like you know like something in the body is moving around and stuff like really cool like but as you can see here we have a nanite skeletal mesh that is animating and the displacement again is also animating with it which is freaking insane so i'll put alt s here i'll press alt s so you can kind of see this in triangles view and that just looks wicked i know it's like kind of breaking a little bit like the actual skeletal mesh itself, you see it's like a, it's like head is splitting. But this is pretty darn cool. And I know people are wondering to see if it works. And I can tell you right now, it looks like it's working. Now, obviously, again, I'm going to have to like find a better way to animate the textures. Because right now, it's, it's pretty boring. It's just kind of just pulsating in and out. And if you have any better way on how I can animate this displacement in the texture material i'll try the panner uh, i tried cine but i'm gonna be messing around with it a little bit more because i think we also have dynamic tessellation coming um that they're working on which is again i'm pretty interested on that that said that's pretty much it for this video um hopefully this showcases and shows you that displacement does work with nanite skeletal meshes until then i'll see you on the next one peace out